you as a church family that we surround these that are being baptized and help them and guide them and help them walk what we already know. Amen. James, upon your profession of faith in Jesus Christ, I baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. <laughs> TJ, and this is my story of new life. I accepted Jesus into my life probably 10 years ago, and then I fell away from Christ. I knew I was doing wrong. I knew that I wasn't living the way that God had shown me to live. It was hard to know that I was not doing the best for my family that I, that I could do because I did know Jesus at one point and I knew that's what my family needs. That's the ultimate goal is to bring them to him. And I wasn't doing that, I was just living for me. So I prayed about it and every desire that I had for the world, he took it from me and showed me that he is good and he's the only thing that's good. Jesus is the hope for my family. I mean, I, I see my daughters already following suit so quickly and they're reading their own Bibles and they're getting involved in, and things and they look forward to going to church. It's a it's a big relief to know that their future is secure in something bigger than me. Which I mean I still struggle with with being my own boss. But it's more peaceful to know that I'm in his hands and we're in his hands and just to have that sense of hope. I want to be baptized to show that I do follow Jesus and to set an example for my children and for my family. I just I want to set myself apart and I, I want a dead stop to the old me and a new beginning to the new me. I'm just thankful that he is still accepting of me. Though that I've, I've walked away in the past, he's still here for me to come back to and that he didn't turn me away. So. His family's on the back row back there. They're usually sitting up front, but uh, PJ, on your profession of faith in Jesus Christ, I baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Look what the Lord has done. given his heart to Jesus and he wants to follow the Lord today in baptism. Cole, upon your profession of faith in Jesus Christ, I baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. story of new life. My life 
before I accepted Jesus um, was really rocky. I was going through a lot with the loss of my father. It really hit hard. He was my best friend, he was my everything. We've had our ups and downs all the time, in fact, until he made amends with me before passing. I wasn't the best person. I wasn't the easiest to get along with. I just, I guess I didn't really care back then as I do now. When I accepted Jesus into my life was the second service I came here. Um, there was a song playing and it really touched me. Pastor, he was talking about friendships and what a true friendship is and it's trust and loyalty. As my other half always told me from day one, trust and loyalty are everything. Jesus means everything to me. I do believe that he will guide you in the right path, the right direction. Just to know that he's there guiding me every step of the way and protecting me and my kids and of course my, my significant other has been a blessing and to have great people enter my life here at New Life has been awesome. Everyone's so welcoming and I couldn't have asked for anything better. I'm ready to commit. I'm ready to have Jesus a part of my life, to say, hey, I've accepted him. I'm a believer. Katie, upon your profession of faith in Jesus, I baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Oh, victory. This is Elizabeth. She's going to follow the Lord in water baptism, and we're excited for what God is doing in her and her family. And uh, Elizabeth, upon your profession of faith, would you turn? I baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. My name is Carl, and this is my story of new life. I accepted Jesus into my life initially back in the early 1970s, but it wasn't always there, and it wasn't always for the right reasons. Over the years, I've been to a lot of different churches, a lot of different denominations, and while I felt good, I didn't feel God. I didn't feel at home either. I was kind of lost and didn't really know what to do with myself. And my daughter, Casey, and her husband, Jonathan, invited me They said, Dad, you need to come to this church that we've been going to. So I did. About a year ago, I heard pastor preaching and he was reading from the scripture. And um, for the first time in my life, my faith became something that was almost tangible. I could almost feel it. I felt that the word was alive. And it really opened my eyes into what it meant to be um, a child of God. Jesus means love to me, love and acceptance. No matter what I've done, I'll be forgiven. I wanna be baptized because 
I've honestly taken Jesus into my life and I've truly accepted him as my Lord and Savior. I know that I'm walking with the Lord now and this is the next step. special. Um, my son's father-in-law, it's, it's great to see Carl take this step and uh, just God's good. Amen. Amen. Carl, on your profession of faith in Jesus Christ, I baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Look what the Lord has done. Oh, look what the Lord has done. He healed my body. He touched my mind. And He saved me just in time. My name is Lindsay, and this is my story of new life. I have been coming to new life ever since I was born. My grandparents, Peggy and Nick, they go here, and they've influenced me to come here more often every Sunday. Once when I was about five, me and my grandma, we prayed, and she asked me if I wanted to accept Jesus, and I said yes. The second time I accepted Jesus into my life was July 21st of 2024. Pastors started praying, and he was asking people to come up and have other people pray for them, and if they wanted to accept Jesus into their life. It was just a really heartwarming service, and it made me want to accept Jesus into my life again. I've been coming to church more often and I feel as if Jesus is always there with me and I can always rely on him for anything that I need. I want to be baptized because I feel as if it'll help wash away my sins and I want to start over and have a better life with Jesus. It's definitely going to be something new for me and it's definitely going to be a better experience. Thank you to my grandparents for always being there with me and always giving me more faith about Jesus and my parents for believing me and persuading me to keep coming to church. Her family's filled up a couple of rows up there. So, Lindsay, upon your profession of faith in Jesus Christ, I baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Picks me up, you turn me around, and place my feet on solid ground. I thank the Master, I thank the Savior, because you heal my heart. Change my name, forever free, I'm not the same. I thank the Master, oh, I thank the Savior, I thank God. This is Renee. And uh, she, they usually come to first service, and the, the, their pew was empty this, this week. And I uh, said, what's going on? Oh, they're coming for baptism. But we're excited for their whole family. And uh, so, Renee, on your profession of faith in Jesus Christ, I baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Us another one I am free I am free oh I am free oh help us another one I am free I am free yes I am free hi my name's Olivia and this is my story of new life coming here 
there for like about two months and my Nana found it and she was like, we should try out this church. And then she came here for like a month and she was like, you guys should come join because it was like really good. That's what we heard. So we started coming here ever since I was born. We've been in church and we learned about Jesus. I went to kids church and I still learned about him. I accepted Jesus into my life whenever I was like, since I could walk basically, since I knew like how to comprehend like that Jesus is real and stuff. Everybody was talking about it. I was like asking so many questions. I was like, so like Jesus is real. Like I feel it. I feel like Jesus is real. And like I, I know he is because like now I'm getting older, I can remember more things about him. And then I just started believing more. Now that I accepted Jesus, it means like, it's, I feel like it's like you're not alone. Like you might think you're in an empty room and you hear noises outside, but then Jesus is there. It's like kind of like God's making an umbrella for you to go underneath. I want to be baptized because I want, like I know that I believe in God, but I want like everybody else to know that I accepted Him. It's showing everybody that that you you are ready, you, you're a Christ, Christian, and that you care about God and that you want Him to protect you. It's nice to know that like there's so many loved ones that want everybody to know that they want they love God whenever we die he'll we will be in a good place and it's a weird thing about we're going to be up there forever and it's like whoa you'll be upon your profession of faith in Jesus Christ I baptize you in the name of the Father Son and Holy Spirit